Hi, it's me again with Corel Drill Tips and Tricks, and this video is only for people with Corel Drill 2020. It's the parallel drawing tool that's a new new tool. And somebody just sent me a video. They'd been watching my other video on this, and they said that they can't turn it off now that they've turned it on. It is a little bit confusing. But right here, turn it off, put the red X, and then you only have one line. And I thought... I could explain that in an email, but I thought there's a lot you can do with this, so it's off right now. But if you take some curve lines I've found using it don't don't really work. But let's use the uh, three point line, and we've drawn a line, and we go, man, I wish I would have used the the tool. Well, right here, you can create from selected line. That's a pretty cool, I mean, you could do that with the contour tool and a bunch of other tools, but not to this extent that you could actually see it. And you have to turn it on when you have a tool. When you don't have a tool, it goes away. So let's get a two-point line again and turn it on. And what is neat, you can make them... Let's say you want to make them a half inch part. If you need 12, you only need to put in 11 because of the fact that you've got one. And you can always prove that by instead of counting them, you select them and go, I've got 12 objects. And that's 12 lines put a half inch apart. And then we can actually make them, let's say uh, six inches tall well, it reduced it equally. So let's unlock our ratio here and make this six inches. And then you could grab them all, control D and make a duplicate and rotate them 45 degrees. You could rotate them 90 degrees and then you'd have a, a box of squares. I missed my calculation a little bit, but because it's really just five and a half and I made it six. But to turn it off, You've got to have a one of the drawing tools and then click right here on this box. Anyway, I hope that answered their question and thank you for watching.